YouTube, what's up? What's happening? <clears throat> Here I am today, bringing you another video, and uh, you know, just to guess, another video how to airbrush a hat. Um, kind of been watching a lot of your guys' videos on YouTube, and I haven't seen too many on hats, you know. And uh, as much as I hate to say it, uh, you do get a lot of business on hats. Um, people will constantly bring in hats once you they sh you show them that you can do them. So I just thought I'd bring you guys a quick video on how to airbrush them, how I go about it, and maybe bring you guys a quick, some quick insight, maybe some quick tips, I don't know. You take it for what it is. What we have here is a little hat. It's just a snap back, you know, one size fits all kind of thing. Um, and what we're going to do is use a uh, um, couple stencils and we're going to make myself, make me a hat, a Superman hat. So, anyway. First thing you want to do, of course, is have a hat, and you're going to want to have a stencil. Um, in my case, I have a little tub with all kinds of stencils already pre-cut. Um, pretty much once I cut it once, I try to save it so I could use it again. Um, so I'm going to put that on there, and, you know, we're going to airbrush that. <clears throat> you're going to need paint, of course, um, as always. Um, and it's nice to have, like, a, you know, a area to paint it on. I like to sit down when I'm painting hats because I just, I don't know, I haven't found anything that I could put up high enough while I'm standing to really paint a hat. So it's always good to have sitting down and have a steady place to put it at. Um, but first off, we're going to start off by stuffing the hat. So um, <clears throat> last thing you want is the hat to blow away while you're painting it. So what I like to do is take like some old rag shirts, you know, just shirts that I have laying around. Um, obviously you don't want it to be dirty, but you just stuff these in here, um, like so, and that'll stretch out. You know, if you're gonna paint around the hat and stuff, that'll stretch out the material, and it'll give the hat some weight to it. I've seen people use like mannequin heads and stuff like that, but there's always a problem with those because they don't really hold the hat in place. That So when you're painting on them, sometimes the hat moves, and, stuff like that but uh, <clears throat> this method I found is the most simplest and it works the best because it stretches out the material it gives the hat some weight so it won't blow away and whenever you place the hat down it's pretty much gonna stay there <clears throat> and you know like I don't know it's just simple everybody has probably some rags around if you're airbrushing at least I do I have tons of rags and so I just grab a couple of them show them and that holds the pad in place um, Next up, of course, if you want to do any masking, now would be the time. You know, obviously I'm not going to do any masking. I don't really care if this back gets splashed with paint or anything. But if you do, if you don't want to get paint on the bill or around this other area or whatever, you know, or if you want to just mask off piece by piece, now would be the time. <clears throat> other than that, um, I think we're ready to go. So I'm going to load up some red. Because um, I'm going to do red, yellow, and then I'm going to do my name in black. So that's pretty simple, but, you know, again, you know, simple is usually the best way. So I'm, let me load up some red. So I got red all loaded up, and what I really want to do next is uh, apply my stencil to where I want it, and um, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And I just use a little bit of spray adhesive. Um, you could use tape, I mean pretty much anything. Spray adhesive works the best, it's clear, uh, it doesn't leave you know very much residue and it holds the stencil tightly in place um, so you really can't beat spray adhesive uh, something like this um, kind of use they sell it everywhere so you know something to watch out for but all I'm gonna do <clears throat> is again I'm gonna go around the stencil in red 
and I'm going to kind of throw some red designs around here. Um, one thing to keep in mind when you're airbrushing a hat is always try to keep the same distance. And of course right here there is a, an angle. So you want to make sure you kind of keep that in mind as you're airbrushing. You don't want to just run your airbrush needle down into it. You kind of want to, you know, do that motion along with the edge of the edge of the hat. So I'm going to just go ahead and lay down some red and we'll go from there. So all I've done is gone around the stencil lightly. I'm using deep red. Um, it's not bright red, so it's deep red. Um, and the reason I've only gone around with it lightly is I am going to go back with some yellow, and I want the yellow to go over the red, which is going to kind of create an orange color. So now I'm going to just add some designs around here, and uh, yeah, we'll keep going. Now, as you can see, I've laid down some like scratch marks, and I'm really big and broad with them so that I want to cover as much area as I can of the hat. I really want the hat to be kind of like one piece. I don't want it to be separated, and I want it to all flow together. So that's kind of the reason why these are so big and broad, and they're not just little tiny scratch marks, you know, around it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the stencil. We could go ahead and take this off, and. Uh, and as you can see, it leaves a nice, crisp uh, Superman S there. And now we're going to do some work around it with some yellow. So I'm going to load up some yellow. <clears throat> So using the yellow, I'm, again, I'm just going to accent my scratch marks. I'm going to add some yellow to them, and uh, I'm going to start with that just to kind of give a little bit of an orange and more of a, you know, sunburst, sunfire kind of um, color pot that we're going for. So... On the S, all I'm going to really do is fade up from the bottom to the top. So it's going to go from yellow to white, um, being yellow at the bottom and white at the top. As you can see, it's, you know, more orangey now. It has a lot of yellow. And it's just a nice clean S. Um, <clears throat> you know, there's nothing really super fancy about it, but it looks nice and clean. And, you know, that's ultimately what I strive for is just really have a better looking design as opposed to having something really extravagant and something. It, it would take a lot more time. And, you know, usually I like to get my customers in and out within 10 or 15 minutes. You know, they could watch me make this. And more than not, customers would rather have a hat that they're going to wear, that they'll be, you know, easy to match with. You could easily match this with a yellow or red shirt, you know, and it'll look good. So <clears throat> now all I'm going to do is take some black and just, you know, add my name maybe across here, across the bill. And, you know, that's pretty much all for that. So. So I have black loaded up 
and I'm going to write my name here. I'm going to use some scratch lettering to accent the scratches that I have going across. And I think I'm going to go ahead and outline the S um, here with some black just to make it pop a little more. So one thing to keep in mind when you're outlining the S <clears throat> is again the surface is curved so you want to make sure you work with that curvature you want to keep your airbrush aligned and move with the curve you don't want to you know just trail off in a straight because um, then your lines won't be you know nice and crispy you need to want to keep that nice and crispy line um, so you want to keep that in mind. You know, working in close like this, obviously these lines are a little tougher to do, and you know, you really don't have to outline it if you didn't want to, but it, it'll make it look, you know, a lot more bold, make it pop out. Um, but yeah, if you want, it's a good idea to maybe just work in halves. You don't have to shoot the whole line at once. Um, you know, it's better to get a nice clean line as opposed to rush it and get a messed up line. <clears throat> there you go it's uh, pretty much my hat right there um, you know most people would say this is like really fancy or it, it looks like a lot of work but as you can see um, you know just applying the work in the right places and you know having a plan from the get-go it always helps I you know I'm not a good off the fly kind of guy I kind of have to have an image of it in my head to kind of know where I'm going uh, so it's always good to keep that in mind um, but yeah there you go you just take your rags back out um, and the next thing you probably want to do is uh, either get a heat gun or a blow dryer like this and you're gonna want to apply heat to the paint um, again this is Createx paint so it sets with heat so you're gonna want to cure it um, a heat gun or a blow dryer like this and blow drying it you know for a few minutes will really heat up that paint. You've got to get nice and hot. Uh, they do sell presses for hats. Um, if you can get one, I recommend getting one and using that. Um, other than that, a heat gun. If you're going to use a heat gun, I don't get too close and don't get it too hot. You don't want to melt or burn the hat, obviously. Uh, so I would always recommend just a regular blow dryer and setting it on high and then just blow drying it for a good three or four minutes, you know, and getting the whole thing really nice and hot and just letting it cool off afterwards.
so after you've blown it off for a while, just let it cool off and pretty much ready to go. Put it on, head out the door. But anyway guys, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. If you dislike the video for any reason, hit the thumbs down button. It helps me out either way. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Later.